Okay guys, here's a tiny house with a cute porch. It says only $250 down. Let's take a look. Uh, so you see it has this wood wraparound porch. Very nice. And you have an entryway on both sides. Uh, very nice outside decor painted brown with white accents around the molding. And let's take a look inside. This is an unfinished unit, so you would be responsible for finishing it how you want. But this would get your foot in the door for tiny home living. So you see you have high ceilings. You could sheetrock all this and insulate it. And you can make that little area um, a sleeping quarters and put a ladder up there. Uh, like a, a loft condo. You have cross ventilation, windows on both sides. Again, you would have to rough this out with electric, plumbing, sheetrock, etc. But this is the structure of a tiny home. You're looking uh, at about 300 square feet or so. Uh, you have windows in the front. You have another loft area in the front attic type space that you could possibly use for storage or a sleeping quarters again you would rough out your electric put electric outlets you know put a sink but you you get a piece of land and it, it usually have to be in the middle of the country where it's unrestricted because this is really like a shed okay and if you're going to live in it not just use it as a shed then you have to have the proper zoning in the town that you live in that allows that. Usually most towns want at least a thousand square foot home. This is under a thousand square foot, uh, which, you know, under 500 square feet is technically uh, a tiny home. So this definitely fits those parameters. So you have to check with the township. You have to do some research on how much it's gonna cost to finish this out. But if you're a primitive person, you know, uh, you could live without water. Uh, you could run an extension cord if you just had electrical pedestal. And you could put a, a temporary window AC right out, vent out the window. And you can live in here, you know, and finish it as you go. You know, finish it over years uh, if you don't have the money to do it all up front. Okay. So let's take a, a look on the outside. But uh, again, the flooring, whether you put uh, hardwood, laminate, uh, or whether carpet, whatever, it's all personal preference. This is just a raw bones, tiny home. Okay, again, they get a nice wood deck here. Okay, and you know, we're off a major highway, but you know, you plop this on any piece of land, nice country land, and you'd be good to go. Let's take a look on the outside. Maybe I'll do a separate video they have another tiny home like this but this is a very cute tiny home you see it has like a little vent up top for that attic space the whole outside is painted look you have a tin roof so you know uh, those tin roofs those metal roofs they say they last you know 50 years or so uh, nice uh, brown again color paint no foundation so you just put this down on grass or if you build a foundation I don't know it depends on the specs and you got nice uh, amount of windows for airflow everything you need I mean this is like a fifth wheel RV with no wheels it's what this is 300 square feet is what about a fifth wheel is but this is for stationary living if you had if you had you know a piece of property that you would want to put this on and live out of this one here I'll do another video on this is a little bit smaller it's about 200 square feet I'll do a separate video on that subscribe to my channel if you're not uh, so click the thumbs up leave a comment below let me know if you like this as a tiny home let me know if you would consider this okay it didn't give a lot of specifics regarding pricing uh, it says premier building USA the website so you may be able to get pricing off that but either way uh, I'll do more videos again uh, subscribe if you're not click the blue join click the super thanks 
Thank everyone for watching. I hope my videos help you, inspire you, and give you some alternative ways to live. Live simply, live happily. Take care.